She improves her Master of skills and continues to rise to the world pedestals in two types of wrestling – judo and sambo. She trains mainly with men, in order to fight easier with her main rivals – women. In 2014, she won a silver medal in judo at the Junior World Championships in Fort Lauderdale, USA. She also achieved great success at the European Games 2019 in Minsk, at which she became the winner in competitions in sambo. Anastasia Sapsai, a resident of the city of Cherkasy, will tell us and viewers of today's UATV program The Cost of Victory about how difficult it was for her to combine two kinds of sports at the competitions. Anastasia Sapsai demonstrated great success at the European Games held in Minsk in June 2019. Indeed, the Ukrainian national team became the third on the continent in the overall standings, having won 16 gold medals, 17 silver medals and 18 bronze medals. The Ukrainian Sambo team added another six awards to the Ukrainian collection. Yes, a gold medal was my main aim at this competition. This gold medal was very important for me. I performed in a lot of events in my life in which I had a strong desire to win a gold medal. Despite the fact that I won silver medal at the European Championships, at the World Championship I lost. I took only third place and I had to retrain in order to improve my skills. So my ultimate goal was to win a gold medal. Although Anastasia planned to win the highest award in Minsk, she had many thoughts in her mind. Could she deal with emotions and whether she had enough skills to defeat her rivals? Nevertheless, she achieved her goal. Anastasia Sapsai confidently paved her way for winning a gold medal, having defeating her opponent from Georgia, Alena Kebadze. It happened so that the skills we gained earlier prevailed, and I was still able to restrain myself, although it was very difficult. Therefore, remembering that day now, I recall how nervous I was. Only sometimes I think that I won by a miracle, that this excitement did not affect me and was not as nerve-wracking as I thought. Anastasia Sapsai is currently engaged in two sports – judo and sambo. The Japanese form of wrestling is included in the Olympic program. Sambo – self-defense without weapons – was invented in the Soviet Union. A lot of details were borrowed from judo, but there are many differences between the two forms of sport. The external differences are that judo athletes are barefooted. They fight on a square tatami, and in sambo the carpet is round and athletes wear shoes. Judo remains a more traditional kind of sport, where the stand should be straight, where all the rules correspond to old form of judo. Sambo remains the same classic sambo, with the kick on the legs, with kick on the hands and without suffocating. Therefore, those who understand it will see that these are completely different forms of sport. In order to quickly switch from one sport to another and not get confused, Anastasia attends training only for one kind of sport, sometime before the tournament. The cost of any mistake can be very high. If you take someone on a leg in judo, you will be punished. If you mistakenly start choking your rival in sambo, as you can do it in judo, you will also be penalized. So I just switched to one form of wrestling, which I will present at the competition for at least one month prior to the competition. For the past 10 years, Anastasia has been engaged in wrestling under the guidance of the honored trainer of Ukraine, Volodymyr Rimar. He trained a lot of winners of World and European Championships. Anastasia Sapsai is his next champion, and he tries to make a real diamond of her thanks to daily training. When he first met his 14-year-old disciple, he immediately realized that she was destined to become a very promising athlete. Even at that time, I saw what character features she had. I really liked that she was very hardworking, but the main feature is that she dedicates all of her efforts to train hard to achieve her goals. Sport and life of Anastasia Sapsai did not appear immediately. Nastya was born in the small village of Hudekin near Cherkasy. In her leisure time, she engaged in knitting and beating courses. Later, she started engaging dancing. I danced, and later it turned out that I was quite a restless child, and there were a lot of comments as to my choice. So my father proposed that I try my hand in judo. So we went to a neighboring village, and in it I tried myself in judo. The coach said that I was promising, and so this all began. 
To this day, I continue training in this, and I can't even remember why I had a desire to get into wrestling. It cannot be said that Nastya was forced to attend training. She was very interested in engaging in some form of sport. But when her classmates and friends could afford to relax and go for walks in the park, Anastasia's main goal was judo training. When she was a pupil of the sixth grade, her father had a serious conversation with his daughter. My father once said to me, Nastya, you have to understand that you have a gift in this sport and you need to engage in it. So you have a choice whether you will remain in this village or you will develop in this sphere and achieve something great in your life. And he said it in such a way that whether I have the will or not, all the same I will manage to achieve my goals. And this is exactly what inspired me. And it was then that I truly realized that this was a very serious choice in my future life. Nastya did not even think about what profession she would choose if not sport. Her choice was limited living in the village, and it is hard to say how she could prove herself besides in sports. I started to go in for judo when I was nine years old, and I almost don't remember myself at that age. I was a girl that loved to run, fool around and fight with the boys. My brother and I still remember how we fought on the street. But I can hardly remember myself in the years of my childhood. Sports strengthened the character of Anastasia. She learned not to give up and set herself the highest goals and be punctual. I would not consider that this is some kind of a disadvantage or advantage. It's something between them. I learned to be punctual. But it creates small problems for me because I shout at all my friends who are late. We swear with them about this. But I can never be late. If I am late, I will call people I agreed to meet with to inform them that I will be late or something like that. So it was thanks to sports that over the years I became more punctual punctual and also more responsible. Anastasia Sapsai's coach knows well how much she has changed over the past 10 years. For him, the measure of her success is the titles and regalia that she earned thanks to her character and her strong will. When I compare the girl that she was at that time and the girl I know today, she's an absolutely different person. Now she's a master of sports of international class in sambo, a master of sports of international class in judo, and a judo world prize winner. Of course, she has already gone a long path, but I would like her to finish it. Our dream is to win the Olympic Games. Anastasia Sapsai trains mainly with guys. She understands that in such a way it is easier for her to prepare for wrestling with her rivals. During the training she aches for girls more. Therefore, she has a blind spot or restrain herself in movements. Be that as it may, training with men is just what she needs. I do sparring trainings, in particular with guys, because we don't have a lot of girls that are engaged in wrestling in Cherkasy. I'm not afraid to hurt the guys, as they never complain that something hurts. Therefore, the training process remains the same. In principle, we train constantly, and that's all. And although Anastasia is engaged in two kinds of sports, her main goal is connected with judo. After all, this is an Olympic sport. Besides, the following summer games will be held in the homeland of this sport, so her mind is totally set on the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. As any other athlete, I probably want to participate in the Olympic Games and to bring home a medal from there. At the very least, I would like to participate in this great event and have a chance to experience the pride and the thrill of victory to take home an Olympic medal. Anastasia Sapsai is shorter than most of her rivals in terms of height, but she is better in terms of speed of thinking and the speed of movement on the wrestling mat. Her coach jokes, if she is 10 to 15 centimeters higher, she would show not only successful performances, but she could be very successful in almost all the tournaments. When she just started training, she showed good throws, but they were good until a certain moment. When she matured, she needed to change the technique. We started to work on the forward trip, hooks, and kicking with legs, because she has never used these elements before. So when we started improving her technique, as there are no boundaries to perfection, in short, we're training hard, moving ahead, and learning new techniques in order to achieve the ultimate goal, namely a gold medal at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020. 
In daily training, Anastasia Sapsai likes engaging in her favorite activities, and even in those that she is not fond of. The latter include exercises in the gym. Gym machines do not give any kind of enthusiasm to Nastya. When I have the opportunity, I try to miss the training sessions in the gym, but sometimes there is no such an opportunity. Therefore, I don't have any problems with fitness gyms. I prefer wrestling and any fights on the mat. The coach works just as hard with his trainee in the same vein and with the same goal. Both have common goals and common plans have to achieve the desired result. There are disputes among them, but the truth is born of arguments. We have a complete understanding and in principle she sees her mistakes. I tell her what she should improve. And in principle it seems to me she succeeds in everything. But she must improve her skills. The European Games are just one small stage. After that she has to take part in the World Championship. We're planning to achieve such results in Sambo, but in Judo we want to get to the Olympic team. She has all the makings to make it to the Olympic team, and everything will depend only on her and on me as a coach. The profession chosen by Nastya Sapsai is not the easiest. Rigorous training, especially before important competitions, do not bring all that much pleasure. There were moments when she wanted to feel sorry for herself and she asked the question whether she needed to continue engaging in this sport. Her father's words and coach's wise advice about the choice in life always helped her. Moments of weakness happen rarely in her life and pass quickly enough. She knows that sport is hard work, but it is her favorite work for today. There are times when training becomes more serious, when you should put much more efforts than usual. Mostly they don't cause exhaustion. Basically, training brings me joy and everything I do, I do it with effort. That is, I don't think that it's hard for me or I don't think about how cool it is. It just should be. Having gained self-confidence in the sports of wrestling, Anastasia Sapsai became confident in an ordinary life and in communication with representatives of the mass media. I remember my first interview when I was terribly afraid of people. I did not know what to say and how to behave. Now I understand that it's possible that this sport did not have an influence on me. It's possible that I grew up and realized that I had to be a sociable person. It is much easier than to be a person of close disposition and think about my words and people's opinions every time. Just enjoy and relax. Now this is my life slogan. Apart from engaging in sport, Anastasia receives tremendous pleasure from communication with friends and joint visits to movie theater or spending time in nature. She likes reading and she also likes traveling and discovering new corners of the world. She remembers her first tours abroad. At first she was shocked and later she started traveling more. It is difficult to say what is my favorite country. But I can tell what countries I would like to visit. I cherish a dream to visit Ireland and Iceland. There is such beautiful nature there. I want to visit these countries when I'll have the time and the opportunity. Today Anastasia Sapsai does not have any favorite in wrestling category. But earlier she had many examples to follow. She learned to endure and become strong from them, which were examples of how to win. My likings in athletes changed over the course of time as likings of everyone. Early I liked some singers, actors and then athletes. And each time these ideas were changed and I can't say right now who my favorites are. I like people who really have a strong story that is truly fascinating. Anastasia Sapsai herself can be a great example of how you can turn into a champion athlete from a little rural girl. The main thing is to set a goal. And for this, according to Nastya, you need to be yourself. It is the human feature she really appreciates. You should be yourself. You shouldn't hide your real nature behind a mask and you should not pretend you are quite a different person. 
того, кем он не является. I dislike people lying to me, and I don't like to lie to people, because I think that all this is senseless. Life is too short to spend it on obscure things. Therefore, everyone should be true and not lie to people. First of all, do not lie to yourself. The immediate sports goals of Anastasia Sopsai and her coach are preparing for the World Sambo Championship and the opportunity to demonstrate their success in judo at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020. Nastya was convinced that anything can be achieved. The main thing is to really want it.